Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the third and final video of the NMCA Bradenton Sick the Mag shootout that Tom Bailey hosted um, back in March. Yes, it's old. Don't come for me. Like I said, we're getting caught up. But in the last video, you saw that we ran 200 miles an hour in the 55 for the very first time, which was very exciting. Um, and just so you know, spoiler alert, the quest for the sixes is pretty close to wrapping up. So uh, stay tuned for that video because it's, it's on its way. But more about this video that's about to happen. So the way the shootout worked was there was three rounds. And uh, we did chip draw, and the first round I raced Tom McGillan's daughter in the El Camino. Won that round, that was in the last video. And then we did the 30 mile street cruise with the NMCA cars. And then uh, second round, I raced Robert Williams. Third round, I raced, I uh, was supposed to race Tom McGillan and his Camaro, but he was not able to make it up for that round. And then the final, I ended up racing Bailey, but uh, he, uh, he was in the final. So the way the actual race worked was you chip drew for your opponent. Um, Everybody raced the three rounds. The two racers with the most points at the end, they raced on the final. And then if there was a tie, it would come down to the fastest average time. So um, that's how that, that played out. And um, yeah, anyways, let's dive into it. Yesterday I went 200. That's a big one. And it didn't set in yesterday. Yesterday I was like, I was. Sad. He said I was sad. I wasn't sad. I was just questioning. I was like, was that good? I think it was good. We were so close to that six. That's what made me a little bit of a. Ah. But 200 in a shoebox. Not mad about that. Oh, we are getting called. So we're gonna go make round two. And I've got um, Robert Williams. So we will see. Okay, so we are in the lane, or we're getting ready to go up to the lane, so they have the factory supercars right now, and uh, we have our class going up after them, so pretty soon we'll get called up and we'll get the show on the road. What is your guys' thoughts? Have you guys done your videos yet? Uh, when was I supposed to start? That's a no. I haven't done one. I know. Kind of busy. He was involved in one. In one, run. maybe. I've had you in a couple. Okay. Good, because I haven't done one. You know. I think we're ready, though.
I didn't red light? No, you're good. So I'm, I'm okay. Ah! Okay. 460, that's my ah! point. <laughs> going to the finals regardless because of the way the point structure works so I've got two points right now Bailey has two points Robert and Justin have one point I sadly don't think McGillum's gonna make it up here Nick is out so he's not gonna make it up here so uh, based, on, based on the way that works out we should have a automatic into the final especially if this is my run so we'll get that pass done and uh, this is a little bit harder and then we can decide what we want to do but um, we'll see so I think it's gonna be me and Bailey in the final Sorry you didn't make it up. Hey, good luck. Thank you. Which one will it be? Let's see you do a 420. You can push me up. What? You can just push me up. It's got temp in it. Tires are good? Yep. Tires good. The bottle's on. I'm part of the tapping. I'm going to check it. Yeah, double check. Super fast recap. Made some adjustments this morning. Went a little faster in the 60, went a little faster everywhere. Looks awesome. Added some more boost, but yeah, pass has been going good. Been getting faster 60s every time. <clears throat> Made a great hit this morning. New personal best everywhere it looked like on the data. And then second pass, we spun. Not sure exactly why on that. All the data looked good. We were actually softening it up. And I'm pretty sure we didn't go too soft, but maybe? Uh, so we're just kind of putting things back, putting, taking even more power out. Pretty sure the track's going away. Alex said it was super hot when I talked to her on the phone earlier. So we're going up for the final against Bailey now. And let's see. We softened it up a little bit, turned the trash control back on. And we'll see if that is good enough to get us another personal best. If it does, I'm hoping, well, we'll see what the track says. But as long as this track goes good, I'd love the track to give us another shot at the quarter because I'm positive we can go a six. Positive this time we'll go sixes. Okay, we are in the final against Bailey, so we will see how it goes. But that's exciting. That is exciting. So he says he's got a 459 in it. I don't believe him. I think he's probably got it still turned up, but we'll see. We have a chance. Are they waiting on us? Yeah, waiting on Tom. It's always Bailey.
It scared me a little bit. I don't I I don't know where this water came from, but like water just poured in from here, like mid pass. I was like, what the heck is that? You think you just lifted maybe? I wonder if when you saw that you might have backed out. I pro I mean I did lift at some point because it just like felt like a turd. Oh you left out you Oh yeah, because 319 isn't that horrible. Yeah, I know I did because I saw him drive around me like and then I saw water pour in and then it literally just <laughs> where the heck did it come from? I don't know. It like sucked in like right here and I was like, where did that come from? There's some rusty looking trail of water, but where would that water it had to be trapped down on the side there somewhere. Yeah. And it just literally kind of felt like it was like sluggish. All right, so we just made a pass. It went kind of weird because we lost the G meter, like it literally fell off. So we didn't have that data, but we had enough other data to feel good that we're going for the six second pass, even though that one was aborted. Uh, not sure what happened. Alex didn't feel comfortable. So she let off, which is what you want your driver to do. So big kudos to her for actually lifting when she thought something felt weird, but didn't see anything in the data. Everything seems good. Uh, we had about 10 minutes to get up back Get, turn back around to make a six second attempt because they're going to let us go quarter because they're awesome there and they're walking up there now so here we go it's going to be a 694 692 i'm going 692 at about 204 we'll see all right we're going to do it right yes this is it this is it okay let's go calm down please you got let's to. go let's go hey, they're hooking it up There's 118. It just drove in the tire smoke. 118? Yeah. Where is it spun? It spun like 200 foot out. It was making horsepower. Like 200 foot? Right, yeah, at least 150 right. foot out is when it started getting up on the tire. It felt so good and then it just went to hell. Yeah, it just started hazing the tire and then spun like a fuel car out there. I don't know. I'm going to take the drive of shame back to my pit. This is not a drive, drive of shame. shame. This thing was moving. Stop being so negative. It's fine. I know. Next time. Next time out. New tires and all. She'll go fast. All right, let's unpack what's happening there because you can kind of hear the disappointment in my voice. It's disappointment, not really frustration. Um, I just wanted to clarify. So, Dad and I had worked so many hours to make sure the car was ready to go. And we had done that earlier in the season by preparing, uh, getting the car done ahead of time, investing in, um, you know, going to test, investing in dyno time. And then we heard it at sick week and just for dumb little reasons. And so then we come back and we prepare it again and we bust to make it happen. And so we go down early again for testing. And then we fight so many little things like transmission and weather, weather, weather again and again and again. And so to go back and not run a six was not frustrating out of anger, but like frustrating out of like wanting that goal to come to fruition so bad. Like this is something that's such a big goal and so much is dedicated to it. And so to not see it is not only frustrating or frustrating is not the word, disappointing for me or dad. It's also, um, I feel like I let like all of you guys who are on the journey, it's like I'm letting you guys down by not accomplishing it. But I also, that's just like in the very moment after it happens kind of deal that I feel that because I recognize that that's part of the journey. It's real life, it's true, it's what happens. Running a six is a hard feat. And now I can say it with a smile on my face because spoiler alert, you guys are gonna like the upcoming videos. So uh, anyways, that's my explanation. I hope it makes more sense. I hope that you can feel that passion conveyed through those words. So 
it's all it's all a passion deal okay so we did not get a six we're still gonna try we are ending the week with a 200 a second place finish against bailey um that last pass the car was making power like blew the tires off like 200 foot out like just smoked thanks the tires. for a nice show thank you, you put so, on a great show. i i try i tried over you there went 200 i heard too i know yesterday i did i was shooting for that six today but what, what kind of time Low seven uh seven oh six oh seven oh seven oh nine i'm sorry yeah so i was trying today um and we went out and like it did great like the first i don't know 60 foot like 60 foot looked great and i was like oh it's gonna go it's gonna go and like 200 foot out like it just came alive and smoked the tires and i was like okay i guess if it happens because i have you know it's overpowering that's better than like it just being slow <laughs> so thank you way too many but it's a good seat time but that's hard on it is but we we came down early to test um and the rain killed us, so we didn't get to do the testing ahead of time that we wanted. Where are you from? Arkansas. Oh, Arkansas. Yeah. All right, take care. Thank you. And that is a wrap for this video and this series. So going into the next videos, um, you will see I was actually racing Patrick Miller, who was there. He, they have the Bumblebee Pro Mod Radio versus the World Car. Um, bumblebee and so um i actually ended up diving into that right after this and that's why it was so hectic for a little while um so go ahead hop over uh check those videos out when they come out but that wraps up nmca bradenton the sixth max shootout thank you tom for hosting it sorry guys it took so long to get out but we had a great time um nmca is so well organized they have such great staff it's so well planned um definitely gonna go back at some point so Anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for your patience. More videos on the way. Um, so I'll see you guys next time. And as always, be happy, go fast, and stay pretty. I'm going to go hover away now. I don't know to do what. But I did get new tires, so I'm going to hover to my tires. So now it's a wrap. Be happy, go fast, and stay pretty. I'll see you guys next time.